Today we are making a clay coil pot. So to begin, we're going to take about half of our clay and we're going to flatten it using our hands and a rolling pin safely. So my hands aren't in this, my hands are on top of the rolling pin. And we are going to cut a circular base using one of these lids. Notice how the lid, I put the words down. If I put it the other way, the clay might get stuck inside this lid, inside the lip of the lid. So I'm going to pull it up, take off those extra pieces, and this is now the base or the bottom of our coil pot. So I am going to leave this on the fabric, but the coil part, I cannot roll out the coils on my fabric. So I'm going to take some clay and I am going to start by rolling a coil in my hands and then I'm going to roll on the table. So to roll a coil, our goal is to get this even, so it's not thick on one end and skinny on the other. So my fingertips are in the middle, and they're starting on my fingertip, and I'm rolling this to the palm of my hand and back. So the clay is traveling all the way up and down my hand. Now it's kind of long, I need to use both hands. So it travels from my fingertips all the way on my fingers and the palm of my hand and back. So I'm going to keep doing that. As I'm working, sorry, my camera is shaking because I'm kind of moving the table. Um, I'm starting to have to move my hands out towards the edge. So my fingers start in the middle, up and down my hand, and then my hands start to go back and forth and out. So I'm going to keep doing that. My goal is to keep it even. I notice this end's a little bit thicker. I'm going to roll a little bit over there. And I am going to roll this so it's about as thick as my thumb. So not as long, but as around as my thumb. Again, this end is not rolling as nicely. My camera's kind of in the way. So I would say that's getting to be about as thick as my thumb. And it's about the same all the way down that coil. Now I'm ready to attach these together. So we know that when we attach clay together, we have to slip and score with that water. So I'm going around the perimeter of my base, so not all over it, just around that edge. My coil is going to lay right on top of that edge, and I'm going to go around, and when I get to meet that coil, I'm going to break it off. If it's not long enough, I'll show you what to do in just a minute. So I slipped and scored, but so many fourth graders forget the smearing part. So I'm on the inside of my clay, and I am pushing and smearing that clay together. This hand is kind of bracing, so I have a hand on the outside, a hand on the inside, so that when I push it doesn't just go off the edge. That other hand is helping to support the clay. If you don't like the look of all those fingerprints, I'll show you how to fix it in a little bit. All right, I'm ready for a second row. Slip and score, and another coil. So this coil is not quite big enough. I didn't reach all the way over. You can piece coils together. So I'm going to just patch this with another coil. But before I can continue, I need to smear that next row on. So every row, I slip, I score, I smear. And that smearing means we're pushing those clay pieces together on the inside. All right, I'm ready for next row. I have rolled out a bunch of coils ahead of time so my video goes a little faster. This is my third row. You have to have four today. Slipped and scored and smeared. If you have four and you want to be done, you can. If you want to make your coil pot the entire hour, hour, hour you can. That's three, so I'm going to get one more on there but you have to be done today. So we can't be making quails next time because there's no way for us to keep our clay soft for a whole week. Clay dries out fast. Some kids are gonna learn today that you play with the clay too much and then it's really hard to make quails because it's so dry. So you don't wanna play with the clay, you just wanna get to work and do what you need to do with your project. I peel that off. I am turning this around and making sure I'm smearing all the way around. So choices, when you have all the coils on that you want, 
you can just leave it like this. If you don't like the look of that inside being all bumpy, you can take a tool and kind of rub and smear some of that mess off. I like to do that when it's on the table so that that other hand can support and so my edges don't push out. So I'm just rotating this around and trying to smear all those edges. Some kids want to draw things or push textures into that middle area. You can do anything on the inside that you would like, but you have to leave the outside with the coils showing. That shows us your awesome hard work and shows us how many coils you have. So you will see my base, that does not count as a coil, and then one, two, three, four. I am just smoothing the inside, trying to make sure there aren't any holes. We will be glazing these. That's that special kind of paint that protects the clay, makes it waterproof. So you would be able to eat off of this because our glazes are safe for food. When you're finished building today, flip it over, get your name or initials on the back, and then it's going on the counter.